welcome back and we are glad having you stay tuned and uh, as we just mentioned satan stole the kingdom that had been given to mankind and made it his kingdom a kingdom of darkness or death satan declared himself king of this kingdom of darkness as he had deceived the first mankind and was now having dominion over the kingdom he stole however at god's appointed time when god himself sent his only begotten son the lord jesus christ into this world he brought about salvation to mankind through his death burial and resurrection jesus christ is the lord and savior of mankind he redeemed the kingdom he restored the kingdom that had initially been given to mankind to have dominion over it but was stolen by the thief who is satan the lord jesus christ once again launched the new kingdom of light the kingdom of righteousness and holiness however jesus said his new kingdom was not of this world but that it was the kingdom of god in heaven remember what the lord said in the model prayer the bible says in the book in the book of romans chapter 14 for the kingdom of god is not eating and drinking but righteousness and peace and joy in the holy spirit this is as recorded in the book of romans chapter number 14 verses 17 whoever is seeking to enter the kingdom of light they need to be saved they must be born again baptized in the name of god the father and the son jesus christ and the holy spirit the born again person must therefore come out of the old kingdom of darkness that is being controlled or ruled by satan who is the god of this world there are two kingdoms in this world and the kingdom number one is the old kingdom of darkness and number two kingdom is the kingdom of light the new kingdom of light mankind coming out of the old kingdom of darkness that is being ruled by satan they need to enter the new kingdom of light this is the kingdom being ruled by god the father his son the lord and savior jesus christ and the holy spirit and as jesus gave the lord's model prayer our father in heaven hallowed be your name he concluded for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever that is found in matthew chapter 6 verses 13 reading through the book of matthew chapter 6 and verses 9 up to 13 the bible says our lord jesus christ who is the son god and also son of man gave us the lord's model prayer in this manner therefore pray our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and do not lead us into temptation but deliver us from evil for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever amen as we are talking about the god of this fallen world this is the popular god of many perishing people in this fallen world this is an enlightening message that the bible learners ministry could be sharing today and we already have had many topical discussions on this new day as we are sharing this enlightening message this is for us all who are willing to read hear or listen to the discussion the book of ecclesiastes chapter 3 reminds us that under the heavens there is time and season there is day and night there is summer and winter and more today the weather has been quite warm in this part of the world we are in here we are between winter and summer time also in other parts of the world there is summer season or winter season this is a season and a time people are always waiting for so that they can have an excuse to become dressed in a manner that is so evil and not godly there is this season when you would find many people everywhere dressed and walking half naked in the streets and public places it doesn't happen even in churches and other places of worship somehow in this fallen world it is accepted and in most places this kind of behavior is considered to be normal we are indeed living in the last days and this diminishing world ruled by satan is coming to extinction this is a world full of evil 
As you see, people worshipping and singing in churches dressed like people of the world. When you look at the church of today and modern Christians, they are dressing their language and appearance, speaking a different God and not the God of the Bible. They dress like people of the world, immoral fashions, exposing their body parts, Jezebel makeups. The scriptures say that Satan, the God of this age, has blinded many people who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. And this is according to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 3 and 4. The Holy Bible says, The God of this age is Satan, that has blinded many, and that God is a different God from the true God of the Bible. The name God is used in many places these days. It is used both in church and also in the world. There are so many religions in the world, and all these religions, cults, and pagans are coming together by the name of God, eating together and celebrating by that name of God. Today, that name stands for many gods. The small g and all those small g gods are called God by those who worship them. For example, in Indian temple, they've got their God. In Pakistan, they've got their God. In mosque, they worship their God. The pagan worships their God. The Satanists worship their God. Catholics have their God. Simply to say, all religions and traditions have their God. The name God stands for many gods, small g and the scriptures that say Satan is the God, small g, of this world. It's we Christians that write a small God with small letters for differentiating but all others, including pagans, unbelievers, satanic, traditions, Islam, and others write their God in capital letters. They indicate their God in capital letters, and so we must know that not all who mention the name capital G God is a follower of Jesus Christ. The name God stands for many gods, the gods of pagan, the God of the world, and the God of heaven. And Jesus Christ said that Satan is the prince and God of this fallen evil world. And when you go to the high courts, they have written on doors and walls, we trust God. This is not referring to the same God of the Bible, but it is another God, the God of the world. The God that is worshipped by nations of this world, look at the American dollar, where it is written, trust in God, and a satanic sign of pyramids, and that is not the God of the Bible, but the God of this world, who is Satan. Ruling the world, they actually mean trust in Satan. Thank you for having us back. Uh, we now continue. In this world of health or maybe medicine, uh, people are being deceived that, or maybe they will write, we treat but God heals, and they mean they are as sleepy as in God serpent heals, and their symbol is a snake sign in all hospitals. Do not just believe them because they speak of God or mention the name of God. They take oaths in the name of God, Sing in the name of God, kill in the name of God, pray in the name of God, but that is another God who is Satan. They don't mean the God of the Bible, the Almighty God, creator of the heavens and the earth and all the things that are in them. They mean the God of this world, loved by many and worshipped by many. Those are the gods worshipped by gospel musicians these days. Sometimes you see people worshipping and singing, those people you see are singing like the world, dressing like the world and singing of the worldly materials, the prosperity songs. When you look at the church of today and modern Christians, their dressings, their language and appearance, speaking a different God and not the God of the Bible. They dress like the world, the immoral fashions, exposing their body parts, having Jezebel makeups, and men changing hair, and worldly haircuts, and this speaks about the God of this world being worshipped by most Christians. Today, with Christians gay marriage, Christians lesbianism in church, and they worship the God of this world, claiming it is Jesus Christ they are worshipping and serving. They pray, 
sing and they read their Bibles, but worship the devil in the name of Christianity. The devil is being worshipped by most Christians, living in sinful life while still in church. When they preach another gospel, they also worship another god. Today, we have many people who are worshipping Satan in the name of God in church. They use God's name, Jesus' name, but they worship a God with a small letter G. And another Jesus, who is a false Christ, the Antichrist. Please. Listen to the message you've already shared titled, Beware of False Ministers Preaching Another Gospel, that is, False Ministers and Counterfeit Gospel. The Bible says, In the last days there shall be false Messiah, meaning false Jesus Christ, and those are the gods today being worshipped by most Christians and served by most ministers or preachers. Their identity is a clear sign by their false doctrines and preaching of another gospel, which is not the true gospel of salvation as in the scriptures. The gospel is also about the world, for they praise the God of this world, they preach the God of this world, a worldly gospel, and the world receives that God and the message of error. We all claim to be Christians, but some of us today do not worship the same God we should truly worship. These false worshippers do not focus on the same Jesus Christ that we truly worship. Because they do not believe the message we preach according to the scriptures, they even hate those that share the message of truth. They deny the scriptures and they reject the teachings of Jesus, of Christ, apostles, and the prophets in the Bible. The Bible talks about the Pharisees and the Sadducees who were united with the world and killed the apostles and prophets. They even hated and finally killed Jesus Christ. They claimed to worship the Almighty God while they worshipped the devil and served Satan, thinking it was the Almighty God they were serving. If they had worshipped the true God, they would have not killed our Lord Jesus Christ and persecuted the prophets and the apostles. Their actions and fruits speak louder than their words that they were sons of serpents. It's like today's modern churches who are persecuting the people who are rightly dividing the word and are teaching God's word of truth. They have instead adapted the modified word and accepted the laws and commandments of men. These people Persecutors and haters because they do not worship our Lord Jesus Christ, but Satan, the devil. No matter their great churches, named after Jesus and God, but they are still worshippers of Satan. Their churches are named after Jesus, but they do not worship Jesus Christ, but Satan, the devil. Their God is not the true God of heaven and the true Jesus Christ of the Holy Scriptures. These false preachers are worshipping Satan, the prince of this world of darkness. No matter how great they are and how popular they are in the gospel, they are not preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, but the gospel of popularity. They worship another God and preach the God of the world, a God who is loved by many and followed by many. Even unbelievers love the gospel because in their preaching they do not rebuke sin, and we indeed are living in the last days, when Satan is being worshipped in church without being recognized. Precious reader, Precious listener, watch out and examine yourself. You may be worshipping the God of the world and serving in the kingdom of Satan while still in church. Do not be deceived. We need to go back to the word of God and find out which God you are worshipping. The Bible warns us today to believe every spirit but to test all spirits to know if they are of God. Do not believe every spirit. That is why, at the end of this present age, the Lord Jesus Christ will say to some people, who will call him, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, did miracles, signs, and wonders in your name, did healing in your name? And the Lord Jesus will say to them, Depart from me, go away, you workers of lawlessness, I never knew you. This is because these people were not worshipping the real Jesus Christ, and they were not serving the Almighty God, but Satan. For the Bible says that even Satan masquerades himself as an angel of the light to deceive humanity, 
Test the spirit and examine what the scripture says, for we are living in the last evil days. It is already GMT. It's already the midnight hour and the last trumpet is about to sound. Repent today and be born again. Be baptized by water and be filled with the Holy Spirit. As you receive the Holy Spirit and are led by the Holy Spirit, you should be able to discern the gods worshipped by many churches and the preachers that are not different from the gods of the world. No wonder. Many preachers nowadays invite politicians to church to speak to them about political issues, which are things of the decaying world of darkness. These are worshippers of the same God, the God of this world, who is Satan, the prince of this world. The Bible in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verses 14 says, Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. The big question that you need to seek an answer is, For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? Another question is, And what communion has light and darkness? That is found in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14. What does light have in common with the darkness? Now, we encounter an answer here. Nothing. Then, why are believers and unbelievers uniting together? Because their minds have been blinded by their master, who is the devil, Satan. Please note, if one is a true believer, they need to discern a true believer and be united with them. Those whose mind have been blinded by the God of this world will find themselves united with the unbelievers because they worship the same God. Two cannot work together unless they agree. The Bible says, The spirit of Antichrist is forming a global church that can be worshipped by all people, races, religion, and languages. And they will worship in the name of God without discerning they are worshipping Satan. That is why, most Protestant churches have now agreed to come together under one man, the Pope, and trying to say that we need to be of one faith. This is a lie of Satan, as these religious groups will unite to worship the one false Christ, the Antichrist, and not the true Christ. Today, the whole nation can gather together with all religious leaders and pray together in the name of God, a small letter G, God. But when you tell them to gather in the name of Jesus Christ, they will not gather. This is because people are ashamed of the name Jesus Christ. Islam is quite, some churches will quit, traditionalists will quit because they do not worship Jesus Christ, the true God. It is happening today and many churches have become dwelling places of the unclean spirit and unclean animals, worshipping under one roof, gods, rats, snakes, cats, pigs, owls, donkeys, etc. They are jumping and screaming, each with different voice, and worshipping their God in the name of a false messiah. If Jesus Christ would return to the world today and start preaching, many of the churches and Christians these last days will reject him, the same way they have rejected some scriptures in the Bible. That is when you will believe that these churches and the so-called Christians are not worshipping the true Jesus Christ. In these last days, people have watered down the word of God. There are so many Bible versions coming up and some are being updated and amplified every now and again. If Paul and ancient apostles would come back and start preaching the same teachings they preached, and the same God they trusted and obeyed, very few people today would accept them because they don't worship the same God of those ancient apostles and they don't teach the same message according to the Holy Scriptures. May those who can receive such a message of truth receive it and know the true God and worship Him in the beauty of holiness and righteousness that comes from the Word of God. Thanks for reading or listening to the discussion, also sharing these insightful messages. And may the Lord continue to shower his innumerable blessings upon you, as you are not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is in the power unto man's salvation. Jesus said, whoever wants to save his life, they must deny, deny themselves, taking up their cross daily and follow Jesus. 
Obey the command given by our Lord Jesus Christ according to the great mission in Matthew 28 to go out to all nations of the world preaching and proclaiming the everlasting gospel of Jesus Christ for many to come to the knowledge of truth. That is why we Bible Learners Ministries have on this day come to this part of the world Kenya where we are seeking to share the good news about mankind's salvation. Precious listener, precious listener, we hope you are being blessed through the message we are currently sharing on our website at Bible Learners Ministry and also on our Bible Learners Ministry YouTube channel. There are so many discussions already published and more coming soon. You can subscribe to receive notifications. Please visit the Bible study section on the Bible Learners Ministry website and search for any topical teaching of your choice. More messages and topics to be published soon. Please give us your donation and support to enable us to continue this task and the Lord will continue to bless you. Once again, precious friends, Take up your cross daily and follow Jesus. Be prepared to meet the Lord Jesus Christ in the sky as he is appearing in the clouds sooner. You can listen to this message in our broadcast, Beauty of the Cross, Part 9, Not Ashamed of the Gospel. We thank you for listening to today's discussions and as we already have shared a message talking of the Lord's model prayer, we are once again going to have our more discussions after the short break. Stay blessed and shalom. Thank you so much, child of God, for taking time, giving a testimony. And we hope the Lord God Almighty will continue to use you as you are serving him. At this time that we are living in, we need to share the good news about mankind's salvation, mankind who was lost at the beginning of time, but he was redeemed through Jesus Christ's death, burial, and resurrection, we therefore need to accept God's word of truth. We need to repent today and become saved. We need to become born again. And uh, we ask you, child of God, to come back again and, and share more and also anyone that is willing you can always let us know when and how you are available we thank you and may the lord continue to keep you to protect you in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen amen amen